I'm going to show you how to wire up the Molex connectors. So if you purchase the Magic Mirror Sensor Hub, you're going to see at the end of the hub this kind of connector, which is called a Molex connector. And here you can see the, the pins. This is the male end. So what you would need to do is wire up all your sensors to the female end of this, which eventually you'll just plug in like so. So put this aside here. So you get your wire. And then you're going to put one end here, which again is going to go into this guy. And then at the end, other end of your connector, this is where you'd wire your sensor. So in this case here, I just have a, one of the touch sensors. You would just, um, on this touch sensor, seeing the black, that would go to ground. The red, that would go to 5 volts. And then the white wire would actually wire up into your sensor hub connection. So you would, you would uh, wire this up here splice it or solder it and on the other end connect this guy to here. So the trick is we need to connect this wire to one of the Molex connectors using a crimping tool. So the tool that we're going to use is this guy right here. Uh, you can get these for about 15 bucks, um, sometimes cheaper. They have them at Fry's. You can buy them online. They're made from a company called Waldem. And um, you can just see the Molex crimpers, which are these two right here. One is labeled A and uh, one is labeled B. So what you're going to do is get your wire. And I just have my wire stripper here. And I'm just going to strip off a little bit of the wire. So you can see it's about that much. And when you strip it, just twist it. Because you want to make sure you don't have strands getting caught in the connector. So you want it to be twisted. So here I have a female Molex connector. So I just take that and we'll try to do a close up here. But you can see how this actually has two, two prongs. One, the first prong is here and the second prong or crimp point is right here. So what you do is you just take your wire and just lay it in just like so. And you lay it in such that the first crimp point, which is right here, is actually going to go over the insulation of the wire. And then the second crimp point, that's actually where the electrical connection is going to be made. So let me get my crimping tool. Okay, so just slip it in there. And then once I have my tool, I use the B crimping connection for the first one. So the first one is right here. So I just, again, take the one that says B and put it right in there and just squeeze down. And that makes my crimp. So if you look at it, you can see I've just one, done one crimp right there. And then now I have to do the second crimp, which is right here. And for that one, you actually takes two crimps, actually. So this one, you start with the A and you go here and you just do one and this kind of starts it off and then once you've done that then you go back to your B one, the smaller one and finish it off like so. Okay, now I've crimped it and you want to do a little tug just to make sure it's in there nice and tight and that's how you do your crimp. Once you have your crimp then it's just a matter of inserting it into the right pin on, on the Molex connector. So what you, at this point, what you're going to want to do is refer to your manual, the Magic Mirror manual, and make sure that depending on which sensor the other end of this wire is hooked up to, you hook that up to the right pin number on this connector. So it's kind of hard to see on the video here, but if you look at it on the side, you can see there's actually a small number label. Each one of these pins is labeled. So number one is actually right here, two, three, and it goes all the way to 15 which is in the corner right here. So let's say this was um, the proximity sensor and uh, off the top of my head I don't remember that number but let's just say it was number eight. So I would just pop it in here to number eight and just plug it in and you just give it a little push and when you hear a click then you know it's in securely. Sometimes it doesn't click so you kinda gotta get like a screwdriver and just help it along. There it goes just clicked right there. And then once it's in, you just give it a tug just to make sure it's in there nice and tight. So you can see the connector right there. So that was one connection. We would need to do all 14, of course, to uh, make all the connections. So once you've done all 14, 
then it's just a matter of connecting the two like so and uh, these connectors there's actually a notch right here so you can't screw up it can only go in the right way you can't actually plug it in the wrong way so that's that's kind of nice so as long as you plug the right sensor into the right pin again make sure you read the manual label your wires because it's very important that you don't um, plug it into the wrong pin you'll be perfectly fine okay so in the event that you did make a mistake and hopefully you don't but if you do there's another tool you can get called a Molex extractor tool these are about 20 bucks so hopefully you do it right you don't need to buy this but again if you did make a mistake this is really the only way you can get the pin out without um, starting over and buying a whole new connector so you just go here it's spring loaded you just pop it in like so and then you wait for this thing just to come out and now then I can just put it into the right hole if I made a mistake again push it in wait for that click you'll hear the click again uh, give it a tug and now I'm okay.